African diaspora news channel, big, tall, heavy set, dark guy. This is for you. This is for you. You've officially pissed me off. Running to Ghana, people sold their homes, moved out of their apartments, sold everything. Some people packed up a container and moved over here just to get over here and realize this is not our home. Y'all, let's stop right there. So, you sold everything, guys. You sold everything. You put your belongings in a shipping container. And you didn't have a Ghanaian passport? You just did it off of a visit? I'm not about to ship nothing if I don't have a passport in my hand to say I got a right to be there or something say permanent residency or whatever. Like, like come on. Y'all making a video, like really, to me personally, that don't make you look good because you didn't read. You didn't obtain nothing from the Ghanaian government to say, hey, I can come back. Now, they did say, yes, come home. But then the question was, when you got home, was, hey, are we doing a special citizenship thing or what's up? What are we doing? And in the end, you find out, oh, it's just commemorating slavery. And not giving you a, a Ghanaian passport, you wouldn't have sold all your stuff back in America. Like, you don't uproot yourself from America off of one visit. Come on now. just commemorating slavery and not giving you a, a Ghanaian passport, you wouldn't have sold all your stuff back in America. Like, you don't uproot yourself from America off of one visit. Come on now. Let me bring up Mark and Dr. Latasha Blanton. Let me bring them up. First of all, American News Channel, let me say something to you. <clears throat> because I saw the video that you made about me. You were wrong, and let me tell you where you were wrong at. You took whatever fucking clip, and you can bleep out my F words all you want. You took every, you took a clip that somebody made of me. And I'm in Ghana, and clearly the lights is out, so I have a, a emergency light on. You took a clip of that somebody made of my full 30-something minute video and used it to work for your channel. And you were wrong. You said things on your channel about me that was not true. I never said I packed up all my things in a container and moved to Ghana. I never said that. But because your ears didn't want to stop and listen to the video, you just want to make your channel look good to make you, you chose your channel to make me look bad so you could look good, okay? While you have a problem with black people or black women, because all you ever really talk about is South America, South Africa, okay? You let people attack me on your channel instead of checking them, but that must be the, like, the type of messy shit that you like, okay? So, Phil, if that's your name, and I'm going to find out what your real name is, you said that uh, I came over, I packed all my stuff up and didn't have a passport or a visa. You're a damn lie. I didn't say that on my channel. But like I said, what you did, instead of you taking the time to watch my video on my channel and fucking tag me in the shit, you would have seen the full video and know exactly what I was saying and what I was talking about. That I was just explaining to you what people have done to come over here just to get here and find out this is not our fucking home. That's what I was doing. I wasn't telling you things. I, I've never shipped a container over here. I never sold my house. From 2021 to 2024, I still have the same house that I have been in for almost 14 years. It wasn't until this year, October I mean, last year, October, I had my daughter shut my house down because I planned on making Ghana my home. But in the last six months, Ghana became really fucked up to me. Okay, so get your shit straight. You want to talk to me? Bring me up on your channel. Because, see, I'm not scared of you. I know how to speak for myself. And I know how to, hopefully, I can go on your channel without cussing. But what you need to do is bring me up as a guest. Let me speak. All y'all 29 people... That's the made a video up a video on me with this same little clip. Only one person made a video with my and watched my full video. The rest of y'all took some little clip somebody made and turned it against me. 
Only two people had something bad to say about the video. That was you and one other person. Some little Uganda, some little nappy head, bald headed ass Uganda girl who had the fucking nerve. She had the fucking nerve. But you as a grown ass man, you would do something, you would you would do something like that to a black woman that you don't know because you had you watched my video. You would have got to know me a little better and understand my story a little better. Now, you may never see this. I hope everybody in on my fucking channel send this shit to you because I am pissed at the fact that you try to degrade and put down a black woman, which is me. And you don't know me. You don't know me from a motherfucking black ass can of paint. You don't know me from one blunt to the next if your ass is a weed smoker, which I'm not. You don't know me from one glass of vodka to the next because you probably is a fucking vodka drinker. Let me say something about you. You look like you abuse women. You seem like you don't like black women. You seem like you have a problem with black people. And everybody in your chat sounded like they were white. How about I say things like that about you? That I saw with my own ears and eyes. You've been on it. You've been on YouTube too long to know better than to do what the fuck you did. You you've been on YouTube too long, and you're too old to know not to do what you did. I will never forgive you. Fuck you, and I still want to be on. I still want to come on your channel as a guest because I want you to question me. I want to question you. I want to speak my mind. I want to speak my piece because I don't like what you did at all. You don't know me. You don't know me from Adam. Have you ever even been on my channel? Have you ever been on my live? Do you know what my life is about? Do you know that I moved here? I came here on a 10 day girl trip, fell in love with the land. I went back home. I didn't just come here on one trip and say, oh, I'm going, I didn't have nothing to do with the year return. I had, I, I hadn't even heard, I never heard of the year of return really until I got here. I didn't know nothing about Pan-Africanism until I got here. I had vaguely heard on the news somebody saying come to Ghana. It was it had nothing to do with me and I didn't pay no attention. So I didn't, me moving here had nothing to do with the year return. I came here on a 10 day girl trip, okay? And fell in love with the land and I chose to stay 40 days to just get more familiar with the land. And I fell in love with the land and I went home and made my plans and came back. And when I came back, I chose to live in the village to embrace the culture. I didn't expect nothing from Ghana. I gave a lot while the little bitch is on there saying, um, what does she expect from Ghana for them to treat her like a princess? Motherfucker, when I got here, that's exactly what the fuck they treated me like. And whoever that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to go back and see who she was because I'll come for her ugly, her ugly ass too. Okay, and you can report this video. You can do whatever you want to do. You were wrong and somebody needs to report your ass. Go find your ass a black wife. That's what you do. Go find yourself. You seem to be lost in yourself. You seem to not know who you are. You seem to think you got some white up in you. You seem to think you're disconnected from the entire continent and black people except South Africa. Which explains you because, see, there's a lot of white people in South Africa. Don't talk about me and talk to me like you fucking know me. Your video was wrong as motherfucking hell. And only you out of 20, about 29 people, your grown ass and one other child had something, made a bad video about me. That's how I took it. You assuming and insinuating shit about me. Sit your grown ass down. I almost called you a name. Sit your grown ass down. Matter of fact, you a grown right, ass talk man. to me. We can do that. Okay? Because you a man. But I'm willing to get on your channel as a guest and speak from my mouth and let your ears hear what the fuck I got to say. Because I don't appreciate you or what you did. I don't follow your channel because I don't like how you talk. I don't like nothing about your channel. Somebody sent your shit to me. That's the only reason I saw you. Just like that bitch ass corporate junkie. The only reason I saw y'all is because somebody sent it to me. 
So you go sit down and pour your ass a glass of motherfucking cheap ass takabaka or some shit like that. Have a drink and get over what the fuck I just said. And then you send me an email, Kimberly Levy, L-E-A-V-Y at gmail.com. And I do have a link tree. Send me a message. Invite me on as a guest. I'm on my way. I'm coming. I'll be waiting. Invite us home. Let's talk about what y'all do to us. Starting from the air, no, before we get to the airport, we got to have a visa that we pay for to even enter our home. We pay all this money for passports and visas to get here. We get to the airport and as soon as you see a fucking passport, everybody's coming for it. Can you give me something small, small at the COVID place? You get to immigration. Can you give me something small, small? You get to baggage. Can you give me something small, small? A person grabbed a damn card and put my bag on it and got mad because I gave him five U.S. dollars. I Let me stop right there. Let's talk about the airport. Now, the first time I've ever seen people come up to you and they, and if, you don't, if you're a novice to traveling like in the African continent, you see these people come and say, hey, I'll get your bag, I'll help you out and whatever. They're like, oh man, this is nice. And then by the time you get, uh, can I, can you give me some so-and-so? So, now, since you know, I travel, we've traveled a, a quite a few times to the African continent. What we do is, uh, no, brother, you, no, 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 leave my stuff alone because I'm not giving you nothing. You just tell them no, that's it, like, uh, and send them on their way. You, they, they're not doing it for a favor, <laughs> they just wanted to get a, get money out of you. And if the dude would have told me, well, uh, that ain't enough, I'll say, well, you know what, that's not enough, you ain't getting that, that fine either. Bye. That's all I would have said. They said, you you the one coming to me, bro. I said, for, for something. And then now, now you being a, a, entitled? Like, let's see, man, can you please? And so, yes, when you go into Ghana, you got to pay for a visa. Let's call it what it is. If Ghanaians come to this country, they got to have a visa. And a lot of Ghanaians can't come here. Because you and them people like, uh, nah, you came to someone's cousin, you get a visa. You don't, you don't, why are they looking at me like that? Because... Your currency is way more powerful than theirs. It lets you know you ain't really been around enough to know. Just say no to people. Nah, I'm cool. Thank you, brother. I, I, I'm straight. I got it. And that's it. And send them on their way. And all they're going to do is go on by their business. You know? Um, you know, sometimes in African cars, you may break bread with people sometimes. You're just commemorating slavery and not giving you a, a Ghanaian passport. You wouldn't have sold all your stuff back in America. Like, you don't uproot yourself from America off of one visit. Come on now. Let me bring up Mark and Dr. Latasha Blanton. Let me bring them up. You just commemorating slavery and not giving you a, a Ghanaian passport, you wouldn't have sold all your stuff back in America. Like, you don't uproot yourself from America off of one visit. Come on now. Let me bring up Mark and Dr. Latasha Blanton. Let me bring them up.